prior to creating the lots there's just one more thing we need to do and that's to actually split the boundaries down at the start and end if we go to the if we go to CAD string split and we're going to pick on this string at the start and pick on the vertex which is vertex 2 here you'll see now that's just one separate string over on the other side we're also going to pick on this string and we're going to pick on the corner point here so this just aids in the creating of the lots okay we'll now look at creating some lots using the option design estates create lots and if we click on create lots in brackets and we'll just move that up we'll be coming backwards and forwards between the different options so the first one we want is create lots the model for the lot will be lots the view will be view 1 the model will change to say purple the minimum area will be 800 and the minimum frontage will be 8 meters Firstly, we're going to start off by using the option Perpendicular. We start by picking the front lot. We pick with direction going up the boundary. We pick the back lot, so we pick with direction in the same way. And we pick the edge, and this is this unique string that we created earlier. We then pick front back to tell it which string to be perpendicular from, so we pick the front lot accept and click process you'll see the lot has been created there if you were to inquire on the lot you will notice that the area is 800 or in this case 800.007 because it's using a tolerance an area tolerance of 0 0.01 we're now going to change the method to parallel pick and we pick the edge of the previous lot and select process and we can simply pick process again and it will create an extra two lots. For the next lot we're going to use a different option so we're just going to move the create lots panel over to the side and we're going to use an option called create lots by picking segments. The model for the lots will be lots, the color will be purple and we're going to join the first and last segments. So we click pick sides and we're going to drag down from the top corner to the next one down and accept we drag on this string and accept we need to zoom in nice and close to pick this segment here and accept pick this segment here and accept you should have four segments and then click process that will then create a lot with the boundary line running from that point there to that point there we can now finish on this panel and return to our previous panel we're going to change the area now to 1100 meters and we're going to change the pick edge to the previous edge here the method will be pivot pick and we're going to get the lot to pivot at that point there if we then click process it will then calculate a lot and again by inquiring on it you'll see that this time the area is 1099.998 right we'll continue along the top we will put our minimum area back to 800 we will set our method for lot to perpendicular we pick the front and click process we can then change the method to parallel pick pick the previous edge and select process process the next lot will be done by pivoting about this point here we're going to change the area to 900 click pivot pick pick a point pick on that point and click process for the next lot we're going to create a park in a different panel so we'll just go back to the create lots by picking segments the model this time will be park and the color will be green we tick on join first and last segments and then we click pick sides in much the same way as we've done previously we're just going to start from here one two 
three, four, five, six, seven, and click process. We can then go and turn on the model park and you'll see that the the park has been created from those segments. Again, creating an extra segment between those first and last points we picked. We can now continue on with the lots. We'll set the minimum area back to 800. We click pick edge and pick the edge of the park. We stay in pivot pick, pick a point and we'll pick on that point there and click process. To continue on, we'll change our method to perpendicular, pick the rear boundary this time, process. We can now change the method to make it parallel bearing. And let's type in a bearing of 3 degrees 45, enter, and select process, process. The next one will be pivoting at this rear corner. So we change it to pivot pick, click a point and pick the rear corner and process. One more lot to be created. We've finished with the create lots panel now and we're going to use another option called create lots by picking point inside. We pick the view which is view 1. The model for what lots, we'll just middle click and we can pick one of the lot models. Color, again we could do a middle click on that as well pick the colour. We will make our search distance we'll leave our search distance as 50 and we'll pick in the middle of the lot. Always make sure that you can see to each side from where you pick. So pick and accept. So it's created the boundary and we're now going to look at doing the road to help us with this next option, we're going to turn off the lots and turn off park. We're also going to turn on the surround model and that's going to be needed to be able to work out where the actual road will go. Okay, so up in the CAD control bar, we have put road for both our name and model. We'll leave the color as red. We're going to use the option create lots Polygon Discovery. We're going to change the mode to Create All Found. We click Pick and we're just going to pick somewhere up here and Accept. And you should see a fill being created temporarily. And if you are now to click F2 and pick on one of the strings You'll see now that it's created the road boundary by using the road frontage boundaries and the edges of the surround.